technique I want to show is printing tracks. So let's say we have this beat right here, which is uh, basically it's just kick, snare, and some cymbals. So um, we're going to make them all so that we can solo them out real quick just so you can hear what it sounds like. So, so it sounds cool, but it's using up a bunch of our available tracks. So we want to just bounce it down into one and also this is pretty important because if we have a bunch of plugins on it which I don't right now but if I did it would be using up a lot of the DSP and also the CPU power and RAM so it's it's much easier to um, print it down so that you're only using one on your track less RAM less CPU so the way we're gonna do that is uh, we're gonna create a new track stereo audio track so now what we want to do is select all the tracks we want to bounce down and we're going to send the output to bus 1 and 2 on all of them and on audio 1 we're going to make the input bus 1 and 2 now we record enable audio 1 and you can hit the numerical pad 3 which is the key command for record so had it in loop record as well so make sure we didn't miss any of it but uh, so now we can basically mute all of these tracks right there and now we can just listen to the audio track of all of them combined much less CPU